My first experience on a bicycle was falling off, and that kept me from bicycling. I was the last kid on my block to learn, but I was also the last kid to ever give it up since I never gave it up, and being near the Wissahickon had a big impact on me. When I was very young, the Schuylkill Expressway was being constructed, and I watched big chunks of Fairmount Park being bulldozed, the negative forces as I saw them. I was very active, still in the life member of the Sierra Club and the Eastern Pennsylvania group, and got a whole bunch of other people involved. Bike Coalition, American Youth Hostels, Audubon Society, all thought it'd be really good to connect all the parks along the Schuylkill River between Independence Hall and go out to Valley Forge. So we formed the Philadelphia Valley Forge Trail Committee. We were very smart to make stationery, which I sketched, that had Independence Hall on one end and George Washington kneeling in prayer in Valley Forge at the other. No one could be against it. Bob O'Connell was the director of Fairmount Park back in the 70s. He sat down with his counterpart in Montgomery County and they worked out a multi-county agreement for this first piece of Schuylkill River Trail. Then the Federal Highway Administration had bikeway demonstration grants and we worked to apply for funds to build the whole thing. Now, what we discovered, of course, is starting in the 60s, the Fairmount Park Commission started building trails along the Schuylkill River in Fairmount Park. They built the trail on the west side and over a period of years. The Water Department was working on a project to restore the Manion Canal, so they decided to put a boardwalk in to make a towpath. We figured out that we could build the trail that's there today from Shawmont to Spring Mill by building only two and a half miles and piggybacking onto existing projects. This is how you create a regional trail system, building blocks. The city, I believe Ed Bacon was involved as the head of the city planning commission in the purchase of the land along the river there. Nothing really happened with it. The idea was always to extend Fairmount Park down to Center City. One of the good friends I have is John Randolph, who actually built a very nice house from 25th Street, and he was looking out at ruins. And he said, this really isn't attractive. Every day it bothers me and keeps me going. So they got things going with the old Schuylkill River Development Council. Joe Cernick has taken over as the director. I guess he just got infected by the idea and decided when he took his retirement from the city, and Lane Fike also was with the city, that they're both over at SRDC and can really make good things happen. So that's why you see the boardwalk going into South Street, you see Grace Ferry Crescent, you see the link to Bartrams. There's this whole network of people who understand how important this is for people's sense of happiness.